Hey guys, Mark Kwok here. Today I wanna to talk about one of my very favorite brands and one where I've talked about many of the products on my channel already, but I wanna do a rundown of kind of my favorite and my least favorite Apple products. So overall, I do wanna say I own about eight to nine major Apple products and I'm talking about in each line. And there are products I also don't own and the reasons I will share with you. But let's start with the most important of them all, the iPhone. Yes, this is the iPhone 14 Pro. This is kind of the top of the line iPhone. I don't always get the top of the line, but every two, three years, I do generally get the best one out there just cause you know, the camera and the iPhone to me, I switched from an Android to Apple about 10 years ago. And at this point, like this is the central hub of everything else in my life from a tech perspective. It's probably problematic because I'm like stuck in this ecosystem and now I can't get out. But I will say, I mean, if there's one ecosystem to be a part of, it's Apple, I'd say. Like they work so amazingly well together and the products are always fantastic. They may not always be the best of the best at everything, but as far as kind of a well-rounded top product, I mean, Apple is gonna be the best. So the iPhone, I would say, is the central of it all. The phone is kind of where it all started. Am I great for Apple iPhone? A plus. The next big flagship part of the Apple ecosystem, this is the MacBook Pro. This is an older version actually. It doesn't even have the, the Apple silicon yet. But when you're talking about laptops, the MacBook and the MacBook family, this is, I mean, this is it, man. They just came out with some MacBook Airs, I think that are probably more than suited to do anything these days. Uh, the only thing, and the reason I still have a desktop PC is that it can't really do gaming in the same way. I'm unfortunately a gamer at heart, and so I have a full-blown Windows PC for that. But if you're talking about daily tasks, you're talking about web surfing, you're talking about just basic things, nothing is snippy snappy in a great form factor, low noise, high performance than a MacBook. And thus, my grade for the MacBook, or MacBook Pro or any of them, A. A little bit lesser needed, but also amazing is the iPad. This is the iPad Pro. Again, this is actually before it started to be fitted with the Apple Silicon. But I mean, I would say if you need a tablet, the iPad is the only tablet I would really consider. I even have a video about it. If you don't, and you can just go with a phone and a computer, then this occupies a kind of weird in-between. But to the extent that you wanna be on a plane and you don't wanna carry a whole computer, or you wanna do productivity things, but the phone is just simply not enough. In those cases, the iPad is there. The keyboard and the pencil are optional, but the iPad itself is another two thumbs up from me, an essential as part of the Apple family. And for my grade for the Apple iPad, A minus. All right, so, so far, three of three. I would say those three are like the core of what Apple creates, and all three of them are best in class. The iPhone, the iPad, and the Mac. However, there's one more item I'd say that fits in that category, and it's going to be the AirPod. Now I have three versions here. This is the AirPods Max, this is the original AirPod, and this is the AirPods Pro, but they changed the game when it came to headphones. I would say the least game changer is this guy, the AirPods Max, so let's take that one out. But the AirPods themselves like changed the way headphones can be, you know, form factor wise, convenience wise. I would say the AirPods changed the game just as much as any of the other devices, the iPad or the Mac. It's that important, I'd say, and something I would truly, truly recommend. My grade for the AirPods, A minus. The next several that I own are, I'd say, a little bit more optional. The first of those items is the Apple Watch, and this is the Apple Watch Ultra. Really, really amazing smartwatch, but it's about the fact that it's a smartwatch. And I think not everyone needs one, not everyone should have one, but for fitness tracking, or for sleep tracking, or for notifications, if it really does matter to you, then really this is like the top of the game wearable. I mean, there are others out there, and they do specialized things, whether it's Polar or Garmin or what have you. But if you're looking for an all around smartwatch that just works and is the best in class, then you're looking at the Apple Watch. So my overall grade for the Apple Watch, B. The next of the more unnecessary, but really great products is the Apple TV. So this is the Apple TV 4K. It's my choice when it comes to smart TV sort of accessory. 
There's Roku out there, Chromecast, smart TVs now have a lot of this stuff built into Samsung, LG, so on. But Apple TV is really nice because you can do things like AirPlay where you can go from your iPad right into your, your Apple TV. I wouldn't say this is a game changer by any means. And of all of these things, probably the least necessary, but one that I still recommend and I do enjoy. And my overall grade for the Apple TV, B minus. And lastly, when it comes to Apple products, there are a slew of accessories. And I mean, this is ranging in various types. It could be chargers, it could be power bricks, it could be, uh, you know, like wireless chargers, adapters and dongles, air tags. All these things are just accessories. They're all white, they all look clean. But I would say these are probably the least necessary to get Apple. Like there are plenty of other substitutes for all of this. I will say like these are outright bad sometimes. Like the Magic Mouse is famous for having really stupid charging capability that down at the bottom here. And my overall grade for Apple accessories of that nature, C+. And let me go specifically now into one things I did not buy because I didn't want them. So the first of the things I didn't purchase is the HomePod. That is uh, the speaker, the smart speaker out there. I considered it because they actually have some of the best sound quality for a smart speaker out there. However, the Assistant Siri kind of sucks, to be honest. There are better assistants out there. And it just doesn't seem to work as well for my household. I chose Sonos instead, which works with a variety, like, you know, it works great with the iPhone, all this sort of stuff. So for me, Sonos is the way to go. Now, next up is the desktop PCs, and that could be in the form of the iMac. It could also be in the form of, a, of the Mac Pro. The power that you get from those, I just don't need that extra power if I have the MacBook Pro. And if I do need that power, then I'm gonna go to a full-blown PC with a dedicated graphics card, all that sort of stuff. And then for anything portable, then I go with the MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or something like that. Alongside that, there's the displays. Now, don't get me wrong, like the Pro Display XDR, mwah, amazing looking display, 6K, beautiful. Unfortunately, I just don't think that it's practical for me for the price. I mean, we're talking a $6,000 monitor. There is a cheaper version, the studio display as well, but for what you get, it only works for Mac. And again, I have a PC. So, and lastly, Apple services. Now. That means that, you know, software services, you know, we're talking Apple Fitness, we're talking Apple News, all these different things you can pay for. That is a mixed variety and the vast majority of those things like Apple Music or what have you, I just don't own. I don't own them because they're not always the greatest products out there. I'm, Spotify has been great. I have no need to go to Apple Music. Um, the only one that I do consider, and I don't pay for it, but I get it kind of right now, is uh, Apple TV Plus, because there's some really great shows on that. I would say Apple is not the king when it comes to services yet. They clearly are the king when it comes to a lot of these pieces of hardware. Tell me another company where I own this much of their hardware. I just don't. This is the only company that I do that for, and that's why they're the most valuable company in the world. The services, on the other hand, they're not 100% still there for me yet. The magic of being in the ecosystem doesn't really apply as much to services. Okay, thank you so much for hearing me lecture on and on about Apple, this, this brand that needs no more people talking about it, but I do love these products. I have a kind of hierarchy and a list for it. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Mark Kwok. I'll see you guys on the next one.